Hello and welcome back to my channel Simply Queen by Sherelle. That's me, the modern day seamstress. So in these next couple of videos, um, the fun everyday vlog series, I am going to tell you all about my sell, move, and purchase. Yep, I did it all in 2021. Good morning, happy Saturday. So it is Saturday and it is 8.41. I'm in uh, my fabulous U-Haul truck. I picked it up at 7 o'clock this morning. Um, got back to the house, loaded, I don't know, maybe 10 boxes and a few furniture pieces that I want to put in storage. And then the rest is loaded with the landscaping um, rocks that Tim pulled out for me yesterday and stacked them. Um, that was quite a workout. I didn't make it to the gym today, but believe you me, I did not miss a beat because that was a workout and it's going to be a workout times two when I get over here to the um, landfill and have to empty everything. So anyway, so far it's been a pretty good morning um, with, you know, checking things off of my to-do list. So once I get the truck once I leave the landfill, I'll go to my storage and I'm going to have to reorganize um, that to get everything in. But I've already come to the conclusion that I'm going to have to get another um, full size storage um, locker. Anyway, um, I'm going to. So here I'm starting to get things in because I had to stage my um, second bedroom. I always use it as an office, so I needed to stage it as a bedroom, and this was the mattress I purchased. And here I'm just starting to pack and get things situated. Tim is um, uh, repairing my studio. I started to look for homes. I attended a very special wedding in the midst of everything. He's having a good time here. This is something I always wanted to do. I wanted to do the um, throw the money at the bride and groom uh, at the reception. This was a lot of fun, <laughs> as you can tell from my face. Us making more progress, me still looking for homes. Now listen up as I catch the contractor doing something shady. You better pass. <laughs> you better have finished cleaning by the time I got back. Why do you clean them tools in the toilet? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You use the toilet to clean those tools. You is one shady contractor. What's the difference? It's a toilet! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Man. <laughs> you are a moron. <laughs> Man, I can't with you. I'm going back upstairs. So at this point, um, we were preparing to get the house listed. I hired a professional pho photographer to photo the home and the sign went up. This is Tim burning the late night oil. Oh, here come my Molly babes. Okay. How are you feeling? <laughs> feeling yeah, they put came out last week and put it in. Thank you. You know me. Because look, I got a cave I got. Look at his mom outside. Hey. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Good morning. So it is Saturday morning. Um, I forgot to continue my um, vlogging yesterday, but um, it went well. We had about seven seven showings so i was in and out of the house until we just made ourselves scarce for our friday night date night we had lito's pizza 
and they had a live um, entertainment there. They do that every so often, a few times throughout the month. Um, so it was kind of nice. So it is Saturday morning. I'm on my way to my um, 8.15 Zumba class. And then I'll hang around afterwards to chit chat with my friends. And then I have to be back at the house. I have someone meeting me there at 9.50 to pick up um, their daughter's uh, prom dress that I had to do some minor alterations to and um, just stitched up a real quick uh, lace uh, shawl. Um, <clears throat> And so our first showing is at 1030, but I'm only going to step out. I'm not going to go away from the home and um, because we're squeezing them. And actually, I had said no, no showings for today, with the exception of the one that was pre-booked almost a week ago for 1245. Um, and then one literally begged my agent to come at 1030 because they can't come to the open house tomorrow. So I said, fine, not a minute sooner or a minute later, because, you know, you know, they have appointments for a reason. Sometimes they, they come like an hour early or an hour late, and I just can't accommodate that because the home is owner occupied. And if you can't understand that, I don't know what to tell you. Yes, I know I'm trying to sell a home, but, <laughs> you know, I mean, really. So, um, and then, so Tim is going to work around those two appointments and then after the 1245 should be done by one or a little after one then he can crank the rest of the um, evening doing um, everything we're trying to get done before open house tomorrow and it's not much but we do need um, the house to be vacant uh, without viewers while we do the um, few a few other things like we have to put the handrails up he has to cut a couple more pieces of trim um, and he needs to finish painting the the lower portion um, front of the house um, like the side light windows yeah and that's that so um, so yeah I'm gonna go in here and get my Zumba on and then we'll carry on throughout the rest of the day well I hope y'all have a blessed morning Bye. afternoon so I haven't updated in a while um, as you can see I'm in a U-Haul truck again I thought we had um, did everything we needed to do with the U-Haul truck for right now so today is Tuesday May the 3rd and so open house was two days ago on Sunday and it went really well um, we got you know pretty good foot traffic and some um, you know lots of interest so to date we have had 34 after including tonight it will be 34 showings that we have had so some negative feedback that my realtor has received was from two or three people that they couldn't and I don't understand this so I guess everyone's different but they could not um, envision a dining room table so I do not have a dining room table um, and really never really did I mean well I did but I haven't had a dining room table for years and I purchased one last in it Anyway, long story short, I decided to go and get the dining room table that I had in storage, um, take it back to the house, get it all set up, and boom, that solved that problem. <laughs> so now we're going to carry on. So anyway, um, I'll keep at this for another week, and I guess we will reevaluate um, after the weekend because I'm going out of town this weekend, and um, and then you know go from there. You know this whole you know I just I know I'm selling a home but I'm not gonna bend but so much for these observers because 
some people just go around to look at houses, just go around to look at how look at look at houses with no intent um, on purchasing. And I do that. Um, and no, I haven't done that. I'm doing that now. I'm not ready to buy just yet because I don't. I'm not putting the cart before the horse. So the few homes that I have looked at were for me to just get an idea on what is out here and the condition that homes are in. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going really, really slow because we do not ha have the bar anchored in the back. It's just kind of sitting there, but it's pretty heavy, but I still don't want to take a chance on it sliding. So I'm going really, really slow. <coughs> And then, you know, I have to stay out until 7 o'clock tonight because we have our last showing tonight is between 6.30 and 7. So, good grief. That's like um, literally three more hours that I kind of have to just be out here. I do have my work laptop with me, so I could potentially go to the I probably will go to the library after um, dinner. Or I may drive to Manassas because I need to go out there and see if they still have those best that I was interested in. Anywho, I hope everybody's having a blessed 